Hey guys, this is Tom, the tech chap on the Saf, tech chap. Saf, okay. no, no this, this is my studio. <laughs> All right, okay, just doing a bit of a takeover here. All right, let's, you're not let's taking, check these out. You're not taking over anything. I come bearing <laughs> gifts. Okay, so we actually have two brand new phones from the lovely guys over at Poco, and they also sent a lovely Saf. Yeah, it was actually a mini Saf that came through, and then, you know, I just um, to get, to get a full expanded. size one. <laughs> <laughs> Saf, thank you so much for coming down. And also a big thank you to Poco for sponsoring this video, for teaming up with us and sending these phones out. So these guys are brand new. We've got the Poco F4 and also the X4 GT. I'm gonna put these behind my back. Okay, that one. This one? Yes. You sure? Yes. You don't want to change Positive. your mind? Yeah. Okay, you are unboxing the X4 GT. The GT. This is how the professionals do it, really. Yeah. So we're gonna start off with the unboxing and here's the initial reveal. And we have a pack, which we'll come back to later because we want to check out the phone first. And here it is. In all of its glory. Guess what we have here? Surprise, surprise. Is that, is that a charger and a There a is a charger included out of the box. And this is a 67 watt fast charger. We've obviously got a cable as well. So that's a USB type A to USB type C cable. We have some paperwork, which I generally don't really take a look at. And then we also have a clear case. Got some of the key highlights here, which you can see at the front. So we do have the Dimensity 8100, which is five nanometer chipset, mm -hmm. very capable. We've got 144 hertz display. That's another key highlight, which we'll take a look at. The 67 watt charging, uh, as well as a high resolution 64 megapixel triple camera system. Right, now let's get to the best part. <laughs> there we go. And here it is. We've got some flat edges. We've got this uh, two-tone finish, I would say. Mm. And uh, based on how the light kind of reflects, it does give you this... Uh, it's like a mattified, but yeah, it yeah. sort of softens the light. That's kind of nice. I mean, I definitely prefer matte finishes on the back, and it's actually got a bit of grip as well. Would you like to have a touch? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have a touch. Thank you, Sam. And the other thing that I'm noticing straight away, again, this, these are my first impressions, is uh, something that we've got at the top. <gasps> headphone jack. A 3.5 millimeter yes. headphone jack. Mm -hmm. Nice. I, I would give that a solid eight out of 10 unboxing. Eight, just eight. Okay, let's see how the five out of 10 one. You guys, <laughs> savage. <laughs> you guys have to say who uh, is the best unboxer, by the way. All right, so I have the Poco F4. Wait, is it Poco or Poco? I'd say Poco. I think it's Poco. Po po I can say Poco, you can say Poco. All right. Boom, so inside, similar to yours, we've got the little box of all the extra thingy-majigs. Let's get this bad boy out. And you know what? I like to just take the wrapper off. Straight away. Straight away. Okay, it's impatient. Boom, there we go. So uh, actually, do you want to bring yours up for a second? You I mean, can see that's a, quite a different... It was a pretty premature um, unwrapping. <laughs> 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 anyway. Different, different vibes going on here, mm -hmm. glossy finish. Matte finish, a slightly mm. different camera layout. Yeah, I'm definitely more for the matte finish myself. How about I like yourself? Both. I like both. Yeah. A little different. All right, back to me, more yeah. importantly. Similar setup, actually, and actually we have the same 67 watt turbo charger and also the USB cable as well. This has the uh, Snapdragon 870. Uh, we've also got a 120 hertz AMOLED screen with this. Mm. And uh, while we don't have a headphone jack, we do get stereo speakers. I think they both do. And they're also very thin. Both of the devices yeah, they are. are quite thin. So even though we've got very large displays, they do feel pretty comfortable, I'd say. Also a nice little protective case as well. So that can slip right on there. Slap that right on. There you go. Beautiful. You you missed out something as well. I mean, it's, this is, this is you know, we've got an amateur just trying to do the unboxing. He missed out this key element here. Oh, I did. You do have an adapter included as well. Ah. So this is a USB type C to 3.5 millimeter converter. So, so although I'll plug, I'll plug you're not getting, there. okay, I will just plug that in for there you. you I'll show you how it's done. Thank you. Dangling your dongle. You <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like four and a half, five out of ten. Yeah, for that, that wasn't fantastic. Yeah, and you're it could right. be better. He needs many more takes, you know. <laughs> he's, he's not been doing this very long, so. So I'll be showing Tom how to actually take some photos here on the F4. <laughs> the first thing we need to do is let's just get wardrobe, the position right. You need to, wardrobe. We'll just change the whole thing, including <laughs> yourself. So we want okay. tilting, which is your good side? Uh, 
This, like this. Yes, brilliant. Go on, give me a few different poses. Yeah, go on, go on. Love it. Love Gorgeous. It. Okay. So this is the portrait mode. Yeah. That's some that's some that's some really good edge detection. We've got the sign here in the background as well that's uh, blurred out a little bit just to give it a nice little bokeh effect. So this is a 64 megapixel setup. We've got this main lens four in one pixel binning. Then we have an eight megapixel ultra wide. Mm -hmm. If you want to see more of my behind the scenes of the studio, mm -hmm. which I've not tidied up, don't don't look around. And the two megapixel macro. I think we all know how we feel about macro lenses, but it's there if you want it. <laughs> There's no dedicated uh, telephoto lens, but you can, of course, zoom in and it will use some, a bit of the AI to sort of improve that as well. And you can shoot 4K video. So as I say, this is the first Poco phone with OIS. So mm. if we sort of just move around a little bit and look at that bit of shape going on. This should be the smoothest video you can get on a Poco phone. It does make a big difference, that optical image stabilization. I'm keen to see this, uh, this, this profile photo as well. Do you want to take another one? Do one more? I can, I can do. I mean, they're gonna cost you, but hey, <laughs> I get that. Do, do you wanna show us a thing or two about gaming? All right, so we've got a bunch of games downloaded here. Let's jump into a bit of Mobile Legends Bang Bang. But what you can do is swipe in from either side to bring up this game turbo menu. So like any good gaming phone, you've got a bunch of options here. You can record the screen, do not disturb, change the settings, change the performance. You can boost it for a little bit. You can see that, look at that, the FPS jumping right up there. So you're really taking advantage of that 144 hertz screen. So you can see here how it actually changes the sort of speed of your movements and the responsiveness of the phone. You can change it to how you want, but let's keep it in pro mode. I like the visual representation. It's, so, it's, very, it's very intuitive, isn't it? Should we get some volume as well? Because we've got dual speakers. It's time we learn a new skill. That's very loud. <laughs> that was very loud. All right, here we go. Tech chat versus Belmont. Okay, running away. To be fair, you can see there's not a drop in frames here. It's smooth as butter. And actually, I'm enjoying the vibration, the feedback. It's got a uh, X-linear haptic motor in here, so the, the force feedback, the haptics, actually feel quite nice. Victory! Victory! You said I couldn't do it. <laughs> that was the demo. Now let's play the real game. <laughs> We don't know the price of these, I should say. That's a mystery right now. It'll Even be down in the us. description when you've got it. Yes, we'll mm. uh, look, put, it, put a comment below and also put it in the description uh, mm. for the pricing and also where you can buy it if you fancy. Generally, this is more of an all-rounder phone. Mm. Um, and well, the first thing I noticed really was just how fast it is with that 120Hz refresh. The 120Hz really does make a difference. And AMOLED as well. So 120Hz, AMOLED. One of the first things I noticed is how small that little hole punch cutout is. It is one of the smallest, which you're gonna learn yeah. to ignore shortly after using it. Yeah, just like uh, when you subscribe to SuperSouth. <laughs> <laughs> and actually you'll see if we jump into the refresh rate settings on each, it is set to the default recommended mode. Yeah, so that will switch based on what you're using. So it might be down to 60 if you're just on something standard, but then if you are gaming or using something that can take advantage of that high refresh rate when you're scrolling, then it's gonna go up to 120 They'll hertz. They'll switch to it. Or you can get a custom and uh, specify one or the other. So if you want, you can keep it at 120 all the time if you want, but that'll use a little bit more battery. Yes. We've got the LCD here on the X4 GT, and we do also have 144 hertz, which just makes mm. things that much smoother. And along with the Dimensity 8100, that's a five nanometer chipset. We've got LPDDR5 RAM on both devices as well as UFS 3.1 storage. Yes, both have that. Personally speaking, I like to game my smartphone occasionally, but I don't want something that looks like a gaming phone. That's a very good point. Mm. You want the, the capabilities of a gaming phone with... Yes. Well, I know we've got vapor chamber coolers in both mm. and also uh, some new ice cool technology. Sustained performance is important and with the liquid cool technology that we've got 2.0 on here, we've also got a 32% larger vapor chamber. Mm -hmm. So that just makes things um, much more sustained over a longer period of time when you are gaming and keeping that heat down. So the X4 GT is powered by that MediaTek Dimensity 8100. And like the F4, we're also getting that liquid cool 2 technology and UFS 3.1, LPDDR5, all the good stuff. And also one of the most powerful and efficient processors you can get in a phone. They're both incredibly capable chips. Uh, as you say, uh, set, uh, five nanometers on that one, seven on this one. So the Dimensity is a little bit newer, mm. uh, but they're both 
well, they'll, they'll run everything you throw at it. When you've got 270 hertz touch sampling as well as that 144 hertz LCD display, it's just gonna make things very responsive. So as soon as you touch a trigger, you'll be seeing that response uh, without any delay. So that's something that's sort of really good. I know both phones do get Gorilla Glass 5 mm -hmm. on the front to keep yeah. them protected. Uh, mm -hmm. And actually the F4, we have 900 nits of brightness uh, in high brightness mode. And also it can peak at 1300 nits mm. with HDR. So if you're watching you know, videos and movies and enjoying you like me content, with these, on all the time you're gonna need a bright phone then you can you can see that very clearly which is i mean great. they're both great for entertainment and mm -hmm. gaming but they've got slightly different mm. you know, slightly different directions there so the f4 is powered by the snapdragon 870 which is still one of the best chips on the market for performance both in terms of high clock speeds and also the isp for the camera and together with Poco's Liquid Cool Technology 2.0 and also the bigger vapor chamber cooler inside for the money this is a pretty solid setup battery life it's important it's important. We want something that can last a long time, mm -hmm. unlike Tom the Tech Chap. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. 5,000. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 5,080 mm -hmm. milliamp hour battery. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty sizable battery. On yeah, the, yours uh, is bigger than mine, as they say. Uh, no, this has actually got the free 500 milliamp hour battery. Um, but I guess, obviously, that being more gaming oriented, that yeah. you are going to, that will drain the battery quicker. So you want a bit of a chunk. It will here. do. And they both have that 67 watt turbocharging. Yeah, and that just means you're going to be able to go from 0 to 100% in around 46 minutes, which is really good. So as you can see, we have MIUI 13 running here. This is on top of Android 12, so mm -hmm. it's the same software on both. We've got LPDDR5 on both, and you've also got UFS 3.1 storage, so everything is super smooth alongside the high refresh rates. Um, and also on the side, we have a little fingerprint reader. Yeah. Did you notice that? Yes, the nice power and button, convenient. My power button doubles as a fingerprint. Although we do also get face unlocking, if you prefer. So you've got the mm. fingerprint reader and the face unlock, which is nice on both. We have an IR blaster. They both have IR blasters. Yeah, I mean... You don't see that very often, do you? We don't, we don't. I could just switch the TV off here <laughs> with this. And uh, that's, yeah, that's something that I've not seen in quite a while, but it's nice to have that here. Now I'm guessing this is the night black color. Midnight black. No, night black. Night black. Midnight silver. Midnight silver. Or nebula green. Mm, interesting. So there's three colors here. We've got black, blue, and silver on the X4 GT. They gave me fancy names for it, mm. for this one. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. But options. We like options. Yeah, we do like options. Yes. All right, Saf, thank you so much for coming down. Thank you for having me. Having a play with these. If you do fancy checking out the X4 GT or the F4, uh, both coming out very soon, we'll leave a link in the description below. If you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments. We'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks to Poco for putting this together. Thanks to Tom for having me back here in the studio as well. Don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. And that's the end of the video. Thank channel. you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Forget right about here his channel. On the tech chat. All right, get out. That's too much. Okay. <laughs> see you later, guys. I'm being kicked out of the tech get out. studio. Get out. Shut up. I'm, I'm taking this with me. <laughs>